Next up at UFC St. Louis, we have Jared Gooden taking on Kevin Jusset. Jared Gooden, 23 and 9 in his career, 3 and 2 in his last five. He's coming off an upset win over Wellington Terman to get back in the good graces with the UFC. He's taking on Kevin Jusset. 5-0 and in his last five, 10 and 10-2 in his entire career. He is looking for his third UFC win. This is one of my most confident picks on this card. And it's not a slight against Jared Gooden because Jared Gooden is very good. Jared Gooden is fast. He's athletic. He's explosive. He's got power in his hands. He's got good takedowns. He's not spectacular anywhere in this game, but he's got that power. He's got that speed, that athletic ability, and that has all afforded him some success. He's a very dangerous guy. This is his second stint in the UFC. He had a run where he went one for three, and then he went four and one on the regional scene. He came back on short notice, lost that fight, just beat Wellington, and now he's got himself a win in this most recent fight. And that was a submission over Wellington Terman, who he did get into a little bit of trouble before that. Taking on Kevin Jusset. This guy is a stocky striker. I'm going to tell you right now. At some point, I'm going to switch to this next slide. Jacob's going to do his pick. You're going to see the strikes that Kevin lands. It's a misleading statistic. Kevin Jusset is a bit low volume, if you will. He's a stocky striker. He's going to plot forward. His hands are low, and so is the volume. When he does finally close the distance, he likes to work you to the cage for control. He'll work in a takedown or two. He's insanely patient. Everything he does, he will do the right thing, take his time. He won't rush anything. He's got good size. And he's a I'm sorry, that dunk was, I'm sorry, that dunk was and it's wild. And it's, dude, we're not um, even talking like the last 30 seconds when it I matters. Tried. Oh my God. I, There's no, no way anybody enjoyed that. Literally no possible way anybody enjoyed that. Kevin Jusset's going to take this time, do the right thing, stay very controlled. He is powerful. Not necessarily with knockout power, but he'll work against the cage or drag it to the ground. He's coming off that decision win over Song Kanan where he basically pieced them up. He might have landed more strikes in that fight than his last five fights combined. And this should be Kevin Jusset all day long. Obviously, Jared is going to be dangerous, but Song Kanan was dangerous too, and that didn't matter here. I see Kevin Jusset winning what's probably a decision. He could squeak out maybe a submission or something that affected a little earlier, but I can see Kevin, slow starter, getting Jared to the cage, getting rid of the distance so he can't get knocked out or anything like that, getting him to the ground and working from there. Kevin Jusset's going to be the pick. He's still somehow affordable. The line closed from the opening odds. Uh, I, I love Kevin in this spot. What do you think, Jacob? First of all, it's Juice. You I said I started with fuck. Kevin Juice. I said it like it's that. Juice. Messing around. He's French, but he lives in wherever Artem lives, wherever that is, um, down south. By the way, Artem, are you in here? Was that was Artem in here? He posted. If a he dog, was, a you'd French know bulldog. about it. That dude doesn't know how to. He posted not a little comment. French bulldog. Is that your dog, Artem? Was Artem in here? I can't remember. I see Joe. No way, it's his dog. He's like in a college dorm or something. Well, it's a cute dog, whatever uh, dog that was. But Kevin you say this is a fight that it seems, and it should be, honestly, this should be the best value on the card. This should be the most obvious pick on the card. Kevin Jusse is a good striker, and I'm a guy that really kind of ha hated Kevin the way that he fights. He seems stiff, unathletic. He, he stays in the pocket a little bit too much. He does get hit. But then you start watching him, and this dude's got a nasty fucking jab. And honestly, in this fight, that's all it should really take is just jab, jab, jab. You saw Wellington Terman really light up a guy like Jared Gooden. Now, Jared Gooden is typically a pretty durable guy who was able to weather the storm, found a shot. What I do worry about, and my pick's going to be Kevin Juice. I haven't played him yet. And the reason I haven't played him yet is because he does hang out in the pocket a little bit too much. You saw him even in that fight versus Song, and he beat the fuck out of Song. Just jab, yeah. jab, jab, jab. He just beat the absolute, uh, beat the absolute out of Song. And But in that second round, about three or four minutes left that second round, Song landed a good shot. And you could tell it stung. He ate it pretty well, but he, he did eat a good shot. If you're eating a shot versus Song, you might eat a shot versus Jared. And I know that you shouldn't make picks and shouldn't make bets on on uh, just a knockout shot because anybody can get knocked out at any moment, right? So that's why Kevin is a pick. I don't want to try and overthink this too much. He is the better striker. He's shown that he can take a shot. He's a durable guy. The best thing about him, too, is that this guy is like, I don't want to say a world-renowned guy, but his name is, his name is Air Juice because he is a judo guy. He's really, really good at judo. Just fucking never use it. But if he yeah. gets in trouble, then he can go to it. Now, you saw Wellington. 
tried to go to the grappling when he got in trouble, and Jared Gooden just fucking picked him up and slammed uh, just threw his ass down. So hopefully that doesn't happen if he does get in trouble, but this should be pretty easy for Kevin. Just, just keep your hands up, right? Avoid the big shot. Jab his face off. Maybe find a second or third round finish. I'm going Kevin here, but eh, something about it just worried me a little bit, but he should be all right. I uh, I love Kevin in this spot, and uh, obviously, anytime you're somebody fighting a very dangerous striker with with insane speed and power, then yeah, that could be a problem. But I agree with you. You can't. This is a fight that you can't overthink. Kevin's probably the more well-rounded fighter. Jared is absolutely the more dangerous fighter, without question. I'm gonna go with patient and careful over you know insanely dangerous. If Jared Gooden knocks out Kevin, just say nobody's surprised. Nobody is surprised. But I'm uh, I'm gonna go the other direction. Now, is Kevin worth ninety two hundred dollars in DraftKings? I don't think so. In his last fight, he was worth that, but he typically is a low ish volume guy. He's typically a guy using technique, slowing the pace, keeping things level i think with song like he recognized yeah song's got some power but song is insanely hittable so i think he got a little comfortable there i don't think he'll get ever get that comfortable with jared because jared's going to remain dangerous the whole time do you think kevin's worth the 9200 dollars in draft kings honestly what worries me is i think he's going to be even more comfortable against jared because jared at least song has like his hands up and is a more technical striker jared gooden has his hands at his fucking hips so that jab so is going think to you're be having there. success yeah and it's going to be if you're jab and then jab and all of a sudden woof that big shot comes that's what worries me is he might get too comfortable but as far as DraftKings, you know jared's typically a durable guy i might stay away from it yeah ninety two hundred dollars for I think there's some better spots on this card for money, but if you do want to check out everything that we're doing, all of the picks, all of the bets, the round line leads, Artem's bets, Artem's picks, running mounts bets, running mounts picks, the optimizer, the DraftKings plays, the fantasy, but everything that we offer is only $10 for an entire month. No tears. No, if you, if you are watching somebody and they're like, oh, fantasy stuff, this much money, betting stuff, this much money, but a package, that's bullshit. That's but don't let these people gouge you into that nonsense. It's ten dollars an entire month. This is the volume business. This is the most unpredictable sport on the planet, and we are managing to give you winning bets week in and week out. And we're not going to play the weird pricing game. It's ten dollars a month. It's going to stay ten dollars a month. We want picks.com. Click become a member at the top. There are well over three thousand happy current premium members. Join them today. We do have a super chat, $20 from Beer, Blood, and Body Slams. You guys helped me win $5,000 on DraftKings Rainmakers this past Saturday. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers. My man, share the ticket. A normal uh, Tuesday night for me. Beer, Five blood, grand? Sure. Body Slams. Oh, beer, blood, and yeah. Beer and <laughs> urine-filled. Oh, yeah. Blood-filled urine. Anyway, thank you Can very much for again? the 20 spot. Yeah, it's you, you, when you pee, it bleeds. Thank you very much for the 20 spot. Share that ticket. If you're in the Discord, throw it in the winning tickets channel. In our Discord, there's a channel specifically there for premium members only because we don't want random people bragging about tickets that we didn't help them with. Premium members only can post their winning tickets and you will see hundreds of thousands of dollars literally not an exaggeration hundreds of thousands of dollars of winning tickets DraftKings and more before you go let me give you fifty dollars anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets fifty dollars as a thank you use the link sign up make a deposit we send you fifty bucks as a thank you